G'day guys. Um, I've just got a uh, couple of buckets here uh, that we I've made a, a water filter out of quite some time ago, and uh, I've had a couple of requests to show how um, I made it out of the bucket. Um, pretty basic, straightforward. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm guessing a lot of people have already done it, but um, anyway, I had a couple of new. Uh, buckets up in the shed, food grade buckets. Um, I've seen guys make them out of stainless steel pots and things that you can buy from the cheap shops. And I thought that's a good idea to have stainless steel, but uh, we've just got a food grade buckets um, that we made, I made them out of. Um, anyway, I, I was gonna go up and get these two new buckets and go through the process of doing it and drilling the holes and whatever. And uh, I went up there, there's only one bucket left, so Obviously some squirrel has taken the other bucket and stashed some food in it, I'd say, anyway. So I thought I'd just, I pulled the one part that we have in the kitchen and uh, I'll just show you how I make it, but very basic, just a matter of drilling a few holes. Um, but uh, anyway, something that you, you might be interested in. Uh, I was gonna send a hat to America. I went to town yesterday searching for sizes and, and styles of hats and uh, I uh, went to the post office actually rang a uh, hat distributor down in Melbourne I thought I might be able to get them to mail it direct and uh, they said we can't get them through we've, we've got hats that have been stacked up at the airport for months and months and uh, I thought that's interesting so I went to a local post office and uh, the postmaster got his bit of paper out, his official bit of paper. He said, no, I can't send it, sorry. Um, because of uh, rules and regulations that are going on around here at the moment. So, obviously, um, <clears throat> they think the hats are contaminated for some reason. But um, I said to him, well, I'm not trying to send a live rabbit. Um, these rabbits have been um, used, goodness knows how long ago and uh, gone through the process of making these hats. And um, so unfortunately we can't send the hat over, but um, there's more than one way to skin a rabbit. Well, I've been looking at websites in America that stock a Kubra's Australia made a Kubra hat. So um, we're hoping to be able to uh, ship one from over there. So as, as that, I don't know, I just can't believe it. But um, so I better watch out this hat I've got on. I might catch some dreaded disease, um, maybe Mixo. I don't know what, what disease they think they're gonna get in these hats, but um, anyway, guys, that's enough rambling on. Um, this water filter is uh, pretty simple. I just got two food grade buckets. Um, now, this is the first one. All I did was drill a hole as close as I could to the bottom and uh, I got this tap. I got it off an old urn we had, but you can buy these little taps. Um, I did try the screwing ones that uh, like this, but they're just a screw in and, and you can't get a nut on behind them and they leak anyway. So um, this one's got a couple little washers, and but you can buy the ones that are made for uh, water filters. We did have a ceramic water filter, but it was that small. We're filling it up all the time and we couldn't fit these um, filters in we've got what i've got is uh berkey filters they're supposed to be uh really really good uh the military use them apparently so uh and we've got the extra ones that take out they're supposed to um, eliminate a lot of the um, fluoride as well in the water uh, i think the charcoal ones are um, i'll show them show you the filters later but the charcoal ones are uh uh, the uh, put in chlorine, chlorinated water. Um, yeah, um, sorry, brain dead there. Um, anyway, first thing I did was uh, drilled a hole in the bottom to put this this tap in. So I'll just whack that in now quickly. I'll try and make this as quick as I can. I'm a bit of a slow talker, but I um, I'll try to speed things up. But uh, washer on this side through the hole. Washer on the other side. Whack the nut on. So there we are. I've got the tap in that. Um, I'll try and talk a bit faster, not to drag this out for you guys. But uh, tap fitted in there. 
Uh, now what this bucket, this bucket has a lid, okay, two holes in that lid, but to line those holes up with the, the bucket that goes on the top, there it is, um, I'll just put this down quickly, place the lid underneath that bucket, I sat it on the base bucket with the tap, then I just drilled through, so I'm drilling the the base of the top bucket and the lid of the second bucket so the holes will line up so uh that's pretty simple it doesn't have to be centered or anything as long as you've got room for your filters in there um so i'll just show you these filters um these are the ones uh for the chlorinated water as such and uh whatever other things that it takes out or um you can look these up and you'll soon see what they do um, now before they go in they give they give this little rubber washer um, what you do is purge them with your tap put that on there bang it up onto your tap turn the tap on and it'll flood the filter and it'll get all the air out and you'll see you'll see when it's full and uh, that just um, forces forces the air and whatever out I guess um, so you do that then we've got our top bucket the lid of the second bucket now i should have marked which way around these go i'll just have to line up my holes that's it now, poke the filter through through the base of the base of the top bucket and through the lid of the no sorry through the base of the yeah, through the base of the top bucket, through the lid of the um, bottom bucket. Uh, I've got a rubber washer here that goes on the outside. I've got a little nut here that screws on. I'll just put the one lot of filters in. There's, it takes two a set, but um, just to make this a bit shorter, so screw that on firmly. Okay, so there we are. We've got the. Uh, where's the tap? Oh, yeah, that's, this is the top bucket, of course. There's no tap on it. Um, there's the filter in there. And what we've got is this second filter that goes underneath. So um, we've got that one through there. One end's got a thread on it, and it fits this thread here. So we just whack that one on. it's nice and snug and firm so there we are we've got the top bucket that we put our water in filters down through that charcoal one and as it goes through the charcoal one it goes into this secondary filter okay then it drips out into our um base bucket so just plonk that on there i've got a second lid to go on top of this one to stop stuff getting into that bucket and there we have it so uh we try and we've got a fairly high on our bench but it's a bit of a pain to get the water in so the lower you can you can place this um somewhere as long as you can get your container underneath the tap to uh get the water out but um that's it guys um i'm just trying to think yeah so your holes and that as long as you've just Place that bucket on top of the lid, drill through it, and uh, screw your filters on, and uh, there we have it again. But uh, what I have found is this lid um, will fill it up with water, and what happens is the suction will sometimes will draw this lid down tight, and it'll stop it from filtering through. So we just a lot of times just sit the lid on, or sometimes I'll just put it up that way, just to stop any bugs getting in the in the, in there. Um, but uh that's about about it yeah sometimes it, the bottom lid will press down and we'll just raise it a bit let some air in there so that it keeps coming out of the tap but um i'll say that uh one out of stainless steel would probably be better you wouldn't um but this is just cheap i think these buckets were ten dollars each and uh yeah we drink a lot of water
and it's good. It's, it tastes really nice and clean and clear, the water. Cheers. Got to wet the whistle when I yap a lot, but um, even those holes, look, if you haven't got a drill and drill bits, um, you can use the old kniffy. All you got to do is get a hole big enough for the filter to go through. So uh, it's simple. You don't need don't need any anything flash to build it. So uh, anyway, guys, uh, look, I hope that <laughs> I know I, I rushed through it fairly well, but it's pretty pretty simple once you see see the concept. So um, cheers for now, guys.